this is the third part of this chapter and the topic for this part is annuity so the uh, the first question is how can we define an annuity an annuity is a sequence of equal payments made at equal time intervals a sequence of equal payments made at equal time intervals is called an annuity so you see there are two important characteristics of, of an annuity the payments should be equal or the install each installment should be same and time interval should be also same so without maintaining these two characteristics you cannot um, put a problem in annuity for example if you want to buy a flat from a company through monthly installments you need to pay your payment each month either at the beginning of each time period or at the end of each time period so the uh, time period will be one month in this case and your installments let's let's say one lakh so you need to pay uh, one lakh or hundred thousand each month to the company one month in this case time interval one month and installment one lakh so this is an annuity and there are several types of annuity let me say something uh, quickly about those types the first one annuity certain an annuity payable for a fixed number of years when an annuity will continue for a fixed number of years then it is called annuity certain an annuity certain are of two kinds annuity due and immediate annuity immediate annuity is the realistic one or ordinary annuity it is also known as ordinary annuity immediate annuity or ordinary annuity is the realistic one in some most of the cases why because payments are made at the end of each time period however in the case of annuity due payments are made at the beginning of each time period for example, in the first one, I said if you want to buy a flat through monthly installments, there are two options uh, the company can give you. Either you can pay your payments at the beginning. For, for example, for the January payment, you can pay either 1st January or at the end of each time period, which is 31st January or 30th January. So an annuity due when payments are made at the beginning of each time period, then it is called annuity due. For example, savings schemes, life insurance payments, these are annuity due. And immediate annuity when payments are made at the end of each time period, then it is called ordinary annuity or immediate annuity. For example, car loan and the payment of housing loan, etc. In the case of car loan, uh, usually we want to keep money in our hand for another one month. So we are interested to pay our payment at the end of each time period. For example, January payment you want to pay 30th January or February payment you want to pay uh, 29th February, March payment you want to pay. 30th March and so on and in the case of life insurance payment we we want to or savings scheme and in the case of savings scheme payment we want to put money at the beginning of each time period because in that case we will get interest for one month if you put the moment you put your money to your bank account the, com the bank will count interest for you so in the case of savings scheme usually payments are made at the beginning of this time period and in the case of uh, car loan payments are made at the end of this time period 
and there are some problems we want to solve in this lecture and those problems will be related to immediate annuity and annuity contingent when payments depends on some uncertain event or on some condition then annuity is called annuity contingent for example uh, in the case of education policy the payments may depend up to the end of education of the children so these types of annuity are called annuity contingent and deferred annuity deferred means delayed when payments are deferred or delayed for a certain number of years then it is called deferred annuity for example pension um, pension plan etc many financial organizations give loan amount immediately and regular installments may start after a specified time period for example in our country house building company uh, pay loan or give loan to the customer to build their house and when they will start their rental procedure maybe the company will give one year one year after one year they will start counting uh, their regular installments so in this in that types of annuity is called deferred annuity when payments are deferred or delayed for a certain number of years perpetual annuity an annuity whose payments are continue forever when payments are continue forever then it is called perpetual annuity present value of an annuity present value of an annuity is the is the amount of any kind of loan is the total amount of any kind of loan and future value of an annuity is the total amount of any kind of fund so present value is related to any kind of loan present value is the amount of any kind of loan and future value is the amount of any kind of fund and sinking fund the way we are creating a fund for our future in which deposits made regularly with compound interest earned to be used later for a specific purpose such as purchasing equipment or building is called sinking fund so sinking fund is the process the way we are creating a fund for our future and amortization is the way of paying your loan is a rein porishodar prakriya the way we are paying uh, both principal and interest of a loan this process is called amortization for example if a loan uh, if you pay your principal and interest of your loan today then the loan is said to be amortized so amortization is a is a process the way we are paying our loan to the bank for example purchasing a car by making a series of periodic payments is an example of a loan that is amortized so let me say it again sinking fund is is it's a process the way we are creating fund for our future and amortization is a process the way we are paying our loan the day the payment will be complete we say the loan is now amortized